Training your puppy can be a challenging task, but with the four elements of house training that I'm going to talk to you about today, you can have a fully house trained puppy in no time. I'm Ken Steep. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Now here comes the part where I play a G chord on my acoustic guitar and hippie shake our toy poodle barks twice. Back to McCann Dogs. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. This is our two minute training term series where I try to explain to you a word, a phrase, or an idea in dog training in two minutes or less. So with no further ado, let's put two minutes on the clock and here we go. When it comes to house training your puppy, there are essentially four elements. Number one, supervise. Supervision is key. If your dog has an accident somewhere in the house and you miss it, you've missed a training opportunity. And disciplining your dog after the fact is unfair for their learning. Interrupting them while they're having an accident is actually the most effective way to let them know that they're making a mistake. Keep in mind, you only have one second to give your dog feedback after they've made a mistake for them to truly understand. So after you've caught your puppy in the act and you've interrupted their behavior, you can scoop them up and head outside. Remember, no harsh corrections are ever needed or warranted in these situations, so if you can't supervise your puppy, put them in a crate. And the second key to house training is schedule. Most puppies will need to pee after sleeping, after playing, after eating, so be prepared to take your puppy outside often in the beginning. And as you take them outside, be sure that you're using your leash and show them exactly where you want them to go. The third key, feedback. Be sure that you're able to praise your puppy when they go outside and be sure that you're able to stop them if they have an accident inside. Any missed accidents inside is missed training opportunities and it's actually a rehearsal of the wrong behavior. And this can really work against you. Let's think about it this way. In your absence, your dog is still getting feedback. When your dog has to go, it doesn't feel good. But when they do go, they yeah. instantly feel relieved. And remember, dogs do what's rewarding. If there isn't anyone there to tell them that they're wrong, then they're likely to think that they're right. And rehearsal of the wrong behavior will only set them up for failure in the future. Key number four. Responsibility. Once your puppy understands that they need to go outside to go potty, it's time to put the responsibility on them to let you know that they need to go there. You can teach your puppy to sit and stare at you. Or you can teach them to ring a bell. Or if they have greater musical aspirations, you can always teach them how to play the tambourine. Those first two methods are surefire ways for your dog to get your attention to be let outside. So keep in mind these four key elements of house training. Supervise, schedule, feedback, and responsibility. And that's all I have to say about that. I knew it was a possibility. Uh, I, I don't even know who to start thanking. Uh, oh, this, oh, no, it's no big deal. Ignore the fact that it looks exactly like Kale's Sinosport Award, but this is definitely for being under two minutes. I hope you enjoyed this two minute training terms and I hope you found it helpful. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training.